All right, you guys. So I wanted to show you what technologies I am planning to learn in 2023. I am mostly interested in machine learning, but I am also working a bit on full stack. So you should keep that in mind. So I will start with the machine learning data science part. And the first thing is not really a technology, but it's a tool that's really useful. And it's the Hugging Face website. And I like it because it is a nice collection of machine learning libraries and it has a large repository of pre-trained models. And I want to try to use it more often and mainly because I will spend less time training neural networks from scratch. I'll use pre-trained models and that's really cool. And they also have all sorts of demos like for uh, generating images from text and all these types of cool mini games. And yeah, that's it's a really nice website. Also, the next one it's Kaggle. I used it before, but I think it's a very good platform because it allows you to use a GPU for free and it has a lot of cool data set and challenges that you can participate in. So, yeah, I mean, I think that Hugging Face and Kaggle are uh, the best way to learn some machine learning and improve your skills. Next up for the backend, I've just started to work with Rust and I used it just for the Advent of Code challenge but I've seen a lot of Rust projects and I really enjoyed programming in Rust so I want to try to create some more applications using Rust. I'm not sure if they'll be like games or, or machine learning related but yeah I found that Rust can be a really good backend language so I want to learn more about it. Next for the DevOps part I still haven't uh, touched Kubernetes but I want to at least know something about it because in the past I used Docker and Docker Compose and also Docker Swarm so I guess uh, since I already know some things about uh, orchestrating it shouldn't be that difficult but I think it's also still useful even though I'm not a DevOps developer or something like that I still think it's useful to at least know some principles about how it works. Next on the list is GitHub CI CD and I mean for me GitLab seemed easier to learn but I feel like I got used to using GitHub for my projects so yeah I think I have to move from the GitLab CI CD to the GitHub one so just because I yeah as I said I got used to using GitHub so and also I guess it's a good idea to try out something new. Then I added the next ones just because they seem cool terraform and ansible i'm not really sure how uh, i can use them but from my understanding it's something like the yaml that you use in ci cd flows to automate uh, devops tasks and that can be interesting like maybe use them for deploying projects or testing them so yeah can be interesting for databases, I mean, I already know the basic stuff like Postgres and MongoDB. So something that I haven't touched yet is like a database that you can use for caching stuff because it's really weird to cache things in Postgres. Uh, something that I found, which I guess it's pretty old, but I didn't really had the need to learn is Redis. And I think it's a good idea to know a database that you can use for caching some stuff for the users that use your application or something and yeah, i mean for example saving the session of a user and after they reopen the application it's uh, the session is still there so yeah i guess it's uh, a good database to learn lastly for the front end there are a lot of front end frameworks so i'm really not sure what to try and i still think that react is the best one and also that Angular is pretty bad. <laughs> oh my God. But um, yeah, I also want to try some other frameworks. And for example, I've seen that SolidJS is kind of popular now, so I might give it a shot and try to make a small demo or something. And also something that I've seen it's becoming really popular is Wasm. And yeah, I think I'll try it. And I've seen that also uh, this WebAssembly is popular in combination with Rust, so maybe I'll try to build something like that. And yeah, from from what I understand, it is it is also faster than uh, JavaScript. So and yeah, I mean I haven't used it before directly, but I know that some of the 
libraries that I used in the past uh, work a bit with WebAssembly like to improve the performance of plotting different things like graphs and plots but other than that I'm, I really don't know that much about WebAssembly so it might be interesting to learn about it so yeah these are the technologies that I want to learn this year I know there are a lot of different fields but I like to have a bit of knowledge on a lot of topics. I also feel like it's good to learn a lot of stuff so that you can find what you like more. Also I want to make more AI projects for games or different things that seem interesting. And yeah, hopefully you found some technology in this video that you might want to try and see you guys next time. Bye bye.